everybody, welcome back to FTD Facts. This is the new generation of class, school made fun. Now get your pen and pads out, your laptops, your cell phones, take some notes because we're exploring the world of Bollywood. So Dave gave you the heads up that I'll be working on this video, Facts About Bollywood, and it's a very interesting industry. Well, not just Bollywood, but Indian film on a whole. We're gonna talk about the differences as this video goes on, so stay tuned. And guys, if you enjoy watching movies, let me know by hitting that like button. Big thanks to Aduraj Jolly for requesting us to do a video on Bollywood. We saw your comment, we made sure that we kept you in mind to make this video. Thanks for being awesome and being a supporter of FTD Facts. Now in this video, I'm not gonna be speaking too much about specific Bollywood stars, but rather I'll be speaking on the history of Bollywood and Indian film in general, as well as the impact that the Bollywood industry is having on the world. Now before we get started, I wanna know, what are some of your favorite movies? Let me know, boom, down there. They can be Bollywood films or just films in general. Now the movie PK is the highest grossing Indian film. The film worldwide grossed 792 crore rupees, or simply 792 crores. Now keep in mind guys that 10 million rupees equal one crore rupee. So 792 crore rupees is 7 billion 920 million rupees, which works out to be 127 million dollars US. Dang, my brain's on fire with all that math. At the time of filming this video, the highest earning Bollywood actor is, well, it's a tie between two top earners. Here we have Amitabh Bachchan. According to the latest numbers, he made $37.5 million. So he was the number one earning actor in Bollywood, but he was the seventh in the world. Also, the actor Salman Khan took home $37.5 million. And he's also seventh in the world. Now the number two for the highest earning actor in Bollywood is Akshay Kumar. He brought in $32.5 million and he's ninth in the world. Followed by number three, Shah Rukh Khan. He brought in $26 million and he's 18th in the world. So this goes to show you the impact that the Bollywood industry is having on the world. Three people are on the top 10 richest actors in the world. Hollywood, these guys are coming for you and fast. So we talked about the richest actors in Bollywood, but what about the ladies? What are some of the top earning actresses in Bollywood? Number one is Dapika Putakone. Not put a cone, put a cone. Everybody pronounces her last name wrong. Now, Dabika put a cone. She's not just India's top paid actress, but she's also the top 10 highest paid actress in the world. This is all according to the most recent data from Forbes. She brought in $10 million according to the latest numbers, making her the 10th highest paid actress in the world, but number one in Bollywood. Number two is Karina Kapoor Khan. She brought in $7.5 million. And in the third spot is the ever so lovely Priyanka Chopra. She brought in $6.7 million. Now, did you know that the first ever full-length Indian film was Raja Harishandra? It was released in 1913. Now, the film is a silent film based on the legend of Raja Harishandra, who's a legendary king, and the most famous of the stories that he was involved in is where he gave away his kingdom, sold his family, and agreed to be a slave, all to fulfill a promise that he made to the sage named Vishwamitra. Okay, so Bollywood clearly is a play on the word Hollywood, but most specifically, Specifically, the name, of course, yes, it has a part of Hollywood in it, but also has the Indian city of Bombay, so Bollywood. Now, it's interesting to note that it's no longer called Bombay. It's now Mumbai. Bombay was the official name until 1995. Now, we see where the word Bollywood came from, but when did people start using the word Bollywood? The term Bollywood was coined back in the 1970s when Indian cinema overtook America as the world's largest film producer. So there's Hollywood, there's Bollywood, but have you heard of Tollywood? Yeah, it's an actual thing. Back in 1932, the name Tollywood was coined for the Bengali film industry due to Tali Gunj rhyming with Hollywood. And because at that time, Tali Gunj was the center of Indian film. Bombay then later took over Tali Gunj and became India's center for film. 
Now this next fact is very important because a lot of times people confuse Bollywood with Indian film and kind of use them synonymously. But every film that comes out of India is not necessarily a Bollywood film and I'll explain. Bollywood is the informal name given to the Mumbai based Hindi language film industry in India. Now Bollywood is dominant because the majority of people in India speak Hindi. So naturally Bollywood is just going to appeal to more people. More people speak that language and there's more people to produce Hindi films. But there's also so Pollywood. Pollywood is a Punjabi language film industry in India. And there's also Sandalwood. Now that one refers to the Kannada language film industry in India. And there's many other names that derive from Hollywood. There's a lot, there's too much to list. Now early in this video, we talked about the first Indian film that was produced. But what about the first Indian film produced in color? That film was Kishan Kanya back in 1937. This film is largely remembered for being India's first Indian indigenously made color film. The movie was based on a novel by Sadat Hassan Manto and it focuses on the struggles of poor farmers. That was also a silent film. Now the first Indian film released with sound is Alam Ara and that was released back in 1931. So there you have it. Those are some of your facts on Bollywood and the Indian film industry on a whole. This to me was mind blowing like this Bollywood and Indian film could dominate Hollywood. This could be number one in the world one day. They already produce way more films than Hollywood. They just don't make as much money, nor are they considered the standard of film. But well, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Be sure to hit that like button if you enjoy these videos. Be sure to follow me on social media as well as check out some of our other videos and be sure to leave a request. We'll see you guys next time in another video where we talk about everything and everything. I'm Leroy Kenton. Boom.